Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to put a last modified or last updated timestamp on your blog posts or any pages really. This is really nice because sometimes you are updating your content, you know, on your blog or whatever. You want to indicate that, hey, this content is up to date and you kind of want to reassure your readers that what they're reading is not just based back when it was published, but actually when it was updated. So those are two very different things. In Divi, you can show the published date, but there's no way to show the last modified date. But now there is, and I would like to show you how to do this. So here's the written blog post you can follow along. The link is in the description. So like I was saying, we are going to be adding this into Divi that it doesn't exist, so we need to add it. And you can use a plugin, you have to use a plugin. So I was using a plugin, and I'm linking that here, last modified timestamp, a very well named plugin. Um, and it puts the last modified timestamp in there, and you can use a short code to display it. So that works great. Now, what I want to show you today in this tutorial is using our Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. So if you are a member of our of our membership, the Divi Adventure Club, or if you already own the Divi Dynamic Helper, well then you can use this. And one of the great advantages of this method is it integrates directly into Divi into the familiar interface. So that would be step one, installing the plugin and you'll go from there. As soon as you install the plugin, it will activate the features that it needs. Then, step two, when you just go and add a text module, it's, it's really that simple. You add a text module and that's where the date will appear. Then you open the dynamic content window and you're going to see something like this, right? That's a very familiar window by default. Now we could set this up to show the publish date and that would be something that is already available in Divi. In fact, let me show you. So here I have just a very generic blog post. So I'll go into my Divi theme builder, right? Here I have a template for all posts. So I'm, I'm going to use this as my example, all posts. So I'm going to add a text module and then you'll just click the dynamic icon or yeah dynamic content icon it'll turn blue when you hover and after a second or two it adds little tooltips so click that and this is where we could say post publish date or you know all of these other things right post categories you know post excerpt post title all these great things but here we're specifically looking at this so if i add that and i'll save here let me just move it to the top actually to be a little more convenient. I'll save again. Now you can see that this was published on March 10th. So in order to clarify that this is the published date, I'm going to do this. Published, do something like that, okay? That's gonna say published and then the date, all right. Now, let's move on to what I wanna show you, the modified date. So what if, you know, I come in here today and I I want to update this content. In fact, let's go ahead and actually update it. I'm going to go edit my post. All right, I'm just pasting in some more. It doesn't even matter what it is. So I am updating this now. So again, today is like May 16th or something. I am clicking update, post updated. But if I go and view my post, well, it just says published March 10th. Well, what if this is like something relevant to like, you know, May 2023, okay? So just go in here again to your theme builder template, add another text module. This time when you click this dynamic content icon, look here for, for, <laughs> I'll find it right here. Divi dynamic helper, dynamic field. So we have a lot of options here in our plugin. Just ignore all that stuff for now. We're looking for Divi Dynamic Helper, Dynamic Fields, and then this one. Notice it says Body Template Modified Date. So you can kind of ignore Body Template. It's just because we're in this Body Template, but you're mostly looking for Modified Date, okay? If this was a page, it would say Page Modified Date. If it was a blog post, it would say Post Modified Date. 
we're in a theme builder template, so it says body template. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but you're just looking for modified date. Now, we could do another thing like we like we did for the publish. Let's say um, last updated colon space. Oh, and you could change the date format here if you want to. Okay, it's just I'll keep it on default, but you could change that. So the, the really nice thing about this is that we're using this familiar Divi interface, right? It's built right into Divi. We're not dealing with short codes or any other code and PHP and all that stuff. It's just natively in Divi and then it displays wherever we want. And, and of course, this is a text module. So you want to style that you want to, um, you know, make it all caps. You want to make it italics. You want to make it um, orange. You do whatever you want to do. And since it's Divi, it's a text module, you can do that and it will update. So that's great. So in the written tutorial, I cover all of that, setting the date format and then adding the before text, but I already showed you that in the video. So I hope you enjoy that little trick. I actually use this for our documentation. When you go to one of our plugin uh, documentation pages, I have it at the bottom. That way you know like, hey, I'm actually updating our documentation to keep it relevant. A lot of times I will find one of my many typos or something, I'll change something or just add a new photo, update the description. I'm always updating the documentation. And so it's nice to kind of know that it's current instead of saying like a really old thing. Now, just because it's old doesn't mean it's not up to date, but you know what I mean? I feel like this is a helpful thing and that's a good use case, at least for me. Um, with documentation or like a blog post that is about some current events or something that's been updated. Anyway, hope you enjoy that. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and you you can subscribe. We do all kind of Divi tutorials like this every single week. So, all right, we'll see you in the next video.